13th of June, 2002. They came from all over Afghanistan, from 32 provinces, 1,575 leaders. Theirs was a unique conclave in Kabul. This was the Loya Jirga, a distinctive traditional form of representative tribal democracy. An overwhelming majority of those attending formally endorsed the name of Hamid Karzai to head the government in Afghanistan. Who is Hamid Karzai? How would he retrieve his country from the ravages of its recent history? In a riveting 52-minute documentary, we examine the life and times of Hamid Karzai, Afghanistan's man of destiny. His early days, his days as a student in India, when he first heard that the Soviets had marched into his homeland. I was going to my college and I saw the newspaper that said that the Soviet Union had invaded Afghanistan. Suddenly I felt that my identity was under attack. We follow him in exile as he joined forces with the Mujahideen to fight the Soviet invaders. With the Soviets there, the only thing that, that was on my mind was how to come back and how to fight them and how to get rid of them and how to win back this country. The coming of the Taliban the most tyrannical and fundamentalist regime ever. A regime that harbored Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. A regime of terror, of systematic subjugation of a people, a complete negation of all rights for the women in their country. The whole country suffered, men, women, children alike, everybody suffered. The whole country suffered, the, 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 the entire Afghan structure suffered. The Taliban assassinate Hamid Karzai's father in Quetta, Pakistan. Then Hamid Karzai's act of defiance, an act of fortitude and honor. People came to me to say that you shouldn't move uh, with his body to Afghanistan, that the Taliban will arrest you or kill you. But I said, no, I'm going to go with my father's body. He leads his father's funeral procession into Kandahar, into the very bastion of Taliban to his ancestral village for burial. Nine eleven, when the Al-Qaeda gave terrorism a new and horrific connotation, followed by the inevitable war launched by an international coalition force. With the events of September 11, of course, the whole thing changed. Karzai slips into Kandahar to wage a personal war against the Taliban. I even told my wife at the last minute when I was leaving my, my house, I told her, look, I'm leaving for, for Afghanistan, and if I don't come back, you should understand. In a compelling documentary, we take a ringside view of the evolution of a statesman, a national leader, a man of consensus, a man of peace. That's also part of my personality. I like to work, with, I'm, a, I'm a tribal person. In the tribal environment, you take people along. Even as he guides his people from chaos to order, as he begins to rebuild institutions raised to rubble by decades of civil war, he has to provide such basics as food, shelter. He has to restore women's rights. We must revive, reconstruct the physical and uh, uh, moral and material aspect of life in Afghanistan for all. In a film that maps the darkest period of Afghanistan's political and social landscape, we trace the rise of this man, the man Hamid Karzai, Afghanistan's man of destiny. The challenge is to continue to fight terrorism, the challenge is to stop them completely from attacking human values. The challenge is to reconstruct the country and to make the Afghan life easier.